This is Explosive Fish, and I'm doing another fish update. I haven't done a video in a long time, so I'm going to do a fish update real quick. Here's the 10-gallon tank. It's doing good, and Neon Tetros. I got two more when I went to PetSmart yesterday. I can point them out for you if you want. But, um, one of them's not looking too good. He's right there. You see the one that does not know it's red? Yeah, right there. He's not doing that good, but I mean, he's alright staying with the crowd. I'm not sure where's the other one, because he's doing a lot better than him. But I think he's right there, that squirt right there. Yeah. Yeah, that one right there. But, um, overall the tank's doing really good. It, the filter hasn't failed out on me yet. And, yeah, oh, you can see Comet's decoration right there. Um, I'm going to get to Comet real quick right now. Okay. Here's Comet, and he's over there. He's doing good in his five gallon tank. He's spoiled. He's all by himself. And, um, so he still has his decorations. I got him two more decorations to put in here because it looks empty. He loves his corner right here. His corner. He loves his corner. I have no idea why. But, um,. Since he has like a really thin layer of gravel, I bought him another bag at Pittsburgh too. I bought him just a small bag of gravel. And I bought him another beta leaf hammock for um, him. Because Sushi, my new beta fish, is using his comet's old one right now. But for some reason, they, they, they changed the design on them. I don't know why. But I can totally see a difference, but it's alright. And over to Sushi. He is a double tail half moon. And yeah, he's red. He has neon dots on his scales. He's a dragon scale. You can't really see his dragon. Yeah, see right there. He had fin rot, as you see. But um on his in his bottom fin, his cadwell fin fin, bleh, I don't know how to say it. It's healing. It used to be a long cut on there. And his anal fin and his dorsal fin. I'm not sure if his dorsal fin will go grow back because they say people said that, that they don't. But hopefully it does because his dorsal fin doesn't look that good. But I got, I got him two weeks ago. I just haven't shown him to you guys yet. Um, he in his tank he has natural gravel from top fin. A small one dollar plant from Top Fin and a bay leaf hammock for I mean from Yuzumi. And he has one of Comet's orange balls. He doesn't really like them as much as Comet, but yeah. There he is. He's pretty. I like him. And what I'm going to do for plans for Christmas and later November. Because I might get some money there. Just because, I mean, I'm going to have a lot of money from... It, if it may, that's a maybe. But, um, what I'm going to do... I'm going to put, um... I'm going to get two more tanks. 2.5s from Great Choice. Put natural gravel on a couple plants and an ornament each. I'm going to get two new beta fish. And I'm not sure what color they're going to be because they always have different colors every time and then come back. And yesterday, I want to give Beta Fishy Love a shout out because yesterday I saw a silver Beta Fish there. And it looked exactly like Steelix, her Beta Fish. And it was a half moon though. It wasn't a butterfly. But it looked like Steelix and I just want to give a little mini shout out. And, yep. That's it, but um, I can't wait to get my two new beta fish because I love beta fish. Beta fish are my favorite. And so my brother, he's going to get a stand on October-ish, later October. And he's going to get his red or I mean, red caparanda and uh, black moor goldfish and his 20-gallon tank. But yeah, that's it for all, guys. I'll see you next time.